Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am going to be talking about five items that you should have in your backpack, whether you're a new backpacker or an experienced backpacker, and they're all under $60. So make sure and stick around. So the five items that I've specifically decided for this video come from a couple different categories, kind of the basics of backpacking. That is water, food, sleep, light, and shelter. Not in any particular order. They're just items that I feel that every new beginner backpacker should have. And like I said, they're all under $60. So if you're looking to build out your backpacking gear load out, I have the items right here. So let's get started. So the first item that I have chose for this gear list is for water. You need water when you're backpacking and water filtration is key. And I have chosen the Sawyer Squeeze Mini. Now this comes in at about two ounces and right now on REI.com you can pick this up for $21. Now it comes with multiple different items to help you filter and to help you uh, make the most of your Sawyer Squeeze Mini. It comes with water bags which allow you to fill up dirty water and then put it into clean water. It also comes with a straw so you can use it just as like a life straw. You can put it in the creek and drink straight from that if you want. Now one of the big downfalls of filters is that they clog up. Sawyer has provided a syringe that you can backwash your filters with. Now there's many different Sawyer filters that you can choose, but this is the one that I feel is the best for beginners. Um, you can spend more money on filters, you can get different brands, but this is kind of the medium grade that I chose just because of the price and the relative ease of getting it. Like I said, you can pick it up at most Walmarts, outdoor stores. Some of the other Sawyers, it's a hit or miss. But everyone has a Walmart around them so you can go pick it up on your own when you're ready to go on your trip. So the next item that I have chosen pertains to food. Now when you're in the backcountry you need to eat. Now most of us will probably take mountain house meals or any sort of freeze dried meal. And for my pick I have chosen the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Now right now as I am filming this REI is having a sale on the Pocket Rocket 2. You can pick this up for about $34. Um, regularly they retail for about 44 to 45 depending kind of where you get it and this is a great stove this is a stove that I still use today and there are many variations of this you can pick some of these up on Amazon for around $20 you can pick up the really ultralight titanium one um, by BRS on Amazon for about $20 um, but this is something that I really enjoy. I love the reliability of it. It has about a three minute boil time. It comes in at about 2.6 ounces and it's just a great stove for beginning backpackers. Um, the, like I said, the reliability of MSR is really what sold me on this. Um, some of those other stoves I've heard hit or miss on them. So if you want to go buy one of these, they're really great and I highly recommend them. I've used MSR for a while now and I keep going back to them because they're just really, really good. So go pick one up for yourself. So the next gear item is shelter. Now a lot of us really worry when we're beginning backpacking, me included, is rain. Rain can ruin a trip if you're not prepared. So what I have chosen for that is a rain jacket. Now this rain jacket is made by Columbia, I don't know if you can read that, there you go. And this is the Glenick, I'll put it up here on the screen, the Glenick Lake. Um, and right now Columbia is having a sale. You can pick these up for right at $60. Um, they're a great buy, they're really waterproof. They aren't the lightest, so it's a trade-off. And they're kind of bulky, but they keep you really dry. I use these all the time when I'm in the backcountry, especially on my four-wheeling and ATVing trips. Um, I don't use it backpacking anymore because I moved on to a lighter uh, coat. I now use the mountain hardware. But for beginning backpackers and outdoors people, this is a great purchase because it's really cheap. If you want to spend a little more money, you can jump up to the Columbia Watertight 2. Now that comes in at around $90, which is a bit more, but you get a lighter package and a little bit better quality. But this jacket right here 
has served me and a lot of my family members really well um, just because of the way that um, Columbia does their Omni Tech water shield. It's really good and it's a really great buy for those that are looking to get some good rainproof uh, gear. The next item is pertaining to sleep. Now sleep can make or break a trip. If you're not sleeping comfortably and if you're not warm, it can really wreck your trip. And for my first sleeping pad, I chose to go with the Climate, the, yeah, the Climate Insulated Static V sleeping pad. Now right now, this is one of the better options as far as beginning sleeping pads that I have seen. Um, you can pick up just the regular non-insulated uh, Climate Static V for right around $60, depending on where you pick it up. Um, some of the specs for this, it is 72 inches long, 23 inches wide, and 2.5 and inches thick. So it gives you a really nice cushion. The insulated version comes in at 25 ounces. The non-insulated version comes in at around 18 ounces. Now, like I said, you can pick up the non-insulated one for around $60 and you can pick up the uh, insulated one for about 84 so it's all up to you whether you want to sleep a little warmer or you would like to chance it for most people going out in the summertime you would be okay with a non-insulated pad so I would recommend going with that but if you want to stretch it out to maybe a three season or maybe even a four season and get an R value of about four I would go with a climate insulated uh, static V they're a great buy great prices and you can't beat them. And last but not least is light. I am a huge fan of light when it comes to in the backcountry. I always try and find the best lights for backpacking. I try and have as much as I can. It's kind of an obsession of mine, but I like it. And for a light, I chose something, not particularly a headlamp or a flashlight. I chose a lantern. Now you can pick up headlamps and flashlights for all around the same price but I'm going for something a little different just because. This is the Black Diamond Zip. Now this is 150 lumens. It normally comes in at around $30, which is a pretty good price for a lantern. But right now, REI is having a sale where you can pick this up for $22, which is a great buy. They have all sorts of lanterns. They have all sorts of different versions and lumens and prices, and they're a great buy. Now the reason I didn't go for a headlamp is because most of us probably have a headlamp or a flashlight sitting around the house, which you can use. But it's really nice to have a lantern when you're sitting around the campfire, you're making dinner, or you're in your tent. This has a really nice hook that allows you to hang. It also has a flashlight on the back end just in case. But I've used this now for a while and I really love the light that comes out of this and the quality that Black Diamond gives you, obviously. It takes only four AAAs and it lasts a really long time. I went camping almost every weekend last summer and I didn't change the batteries once. And I started using this this season and I began to start noticing some dimness in the light, so I changed them out. So it lasts a really long time and it's really great quality. So if you're looking for a lantern for your backpacking setup, I recommend Black Diamond. They have all sorts of variations and they all come in under round and under $60. Alrighty guys, that's my five backpacking gear items for beginners. Now like I said, these all come in under $60, which is a really great price if you're looking to build your backpacking gear setup. Now these are in no way a comprehensive review of everything that you can buy. You can go cheaper with Amazon products. You can go more expensive for better products. It all depends on what you want to spend. But when I was in getting into backpacking, these gear items really helped me know what I want and know how I can improve. And they still work great. I am just, you know, kind of a gearhead and I like to buy new, different gear so I can bring it to you guys. So if you guys liked what you saw or you want more of these type of videos, make sure and hit subscribe, hit that like button, and if you have any comments or questions, or maybe even you have a couple of gear ideas that I didn't include in this, in this list, make sure and write them down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from all you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today with this video, and we'll catch you in the next one.